Hey, it's Mitch doing the cruise. If you watch the Netflix presentation of the Beatles Get Back, you're able to see the frustration of George Harrison because of the film crew recording the Let It Be sessions and also plans his bandmates are making for a concert he wants no part of. On this date in 1969, George quits the Beatles, writing in his diary, got up, went to Twickham, rehearsed until lunchtime, left the Beatles, went home. George nonchalantly tells the rest of the band that he's quitting immediately and sarcastically says as he walks out, see you around the clubs. George would later say that he'd had a growing backlog of new material. He constantly had to work on Lennon and McCartney songs before the group would work on his. He's lured back a few days later with assurances that the concert would be canceled and his wishes would be respected. John had an interesting response to George's exit. Being the reactionary that he was, he said, Let's get Clapton. He's as good and not as much of a headache. Imagine that. But let's be honest. The Beatles would never have been the Beatles without George.